I was running the uh, set seed treatment uh, uh, trial out here in Beersford and also in Hurley and trying to see how do they, what's their impact in, in managing um, SCN. Question of course is uh, which, which seed treatment, you know, insecticide, fungicide, there are a whole bunch of things out there, a combination of both, uh, there are plant health promoters out there and also biological agents. So you know what, we throw everything together and then <laughs> And, uh, and see if they work. We, we, we did it for two years in uh, 2011 and also 2012. Uh, first year, we use uh, some that's just fungicide, uh, Apron Max, Trilax, and then some that are in, uh, a combination between insecticide and fungicide. It's Cruiser Max, Plant Health Promoter with uh, inhibit gold. It allegedly has this active ingredient called Harpin Protein uh, that help the plant to grow better and make it more immune uh, was the claim. Uh, and then insecticide and biological agent, we use Ponchofotivo and nematicide, insecticide and fungicide, which is Ficta complete. With Epimectin is, um, it's, it's funny, when, when I was in grad school, we always got taught that Epimectin is, is an insecticide. Uh, but more and more, I think there are research that shows that it has uh, an, an actual uh, nematicidal uh, effect so I, I call that uh, nematicide. It's the same uh, family as active ingredient ivermectin that's used in uh, uh, livestock. Uh, and also thiamethoxam is a, a neonic and some fungicides. And what are we seeing? First, this is reproductive factor. And by that, I mean, we take the reading of the SEN population at the beginning of the season. Then we take the reading of the population by the end of the season. And a reproductive factor is just a ratio between the two. So population by the end of the season divided by population at the beginning of the season. Which means if you have a, a reproductive factor of one, it's good enough. It means that it holds the population. It doesn't allow it to increase. Anything larger than one, it means that whatever treatment it is not working well because you know, it, it allows the, the, the population to, to continue to increase. So what you see here is that most treatment shows pretty good suppression, you know, a prawn max. The fungicides show pretty good suppression, uh, fungicide, insecticide, biological, ponchovotifo, trilex, good, pretty good one. Cruiser max, pretty decent. Uh, Cruiser max with inhibit cold, interestingly enough, had a pretty, pretty high average. I think that complete is the best, at least numerically. Uh, in terms of suppressing the, uh, the, uh, uh, the reproduction of, of uh, SEN. But if you take into account that spread, that measure of variability, and then you run the stat on it, there is no, there's no statistical difference. <laughs> so the numerically, I think that completes the best, but once you, you run the stat, there's no statistical difference. So we thought, all right, well, that's, that's the data from the SEN. Now, how about the yield? Well, the yield's <laughs> even more they are all the same. <laughs> they are all about the same. Keep in mind that we do uh, we do check for aphid population. Um, so when when it hits 250, we spray it with Warrior. So whatever you know, which which means that we are thinking, all right, we don't want to compound the problem of aphid population and and SEN. So they are all relatively clean um, aphid wise. So. That's, that's the message there, at least in 2011, uh, no statistical difference between all tr treatments. When we did it again in 2012, we sort of changed the treatment a little bit, but the but similar type of you know, combinations. Uh, fungicide, use Apron Max, uh, Evergold Energy with Allegiance. Fungicide, uh, insecticide, and biological agent, we still use Poncho Fotifo, and then we use Evergold Energy for our uh, fungicide. Insecticide, fungicide, and plant health promoter, the same thing. Uh, Cruiser Max and inhibit gold. And nematicide, insecticide, and fungicide, we use effect the complete. This is again the, the reproductive factor. Look at that numbers. So last year was bad <laughs> for, for SEN population. What, what, what you know, normally just uh, double in a season, it went about six times. The, uh, the population between the, the beginning and, and the end uh, of the season. Um, that's the line where the reproductive factor is one. And here the message is again the same. The, the variability, the spread is what messes up, uh, messes up a little bit. So 
in this bad year, um, Evergo Energy seemed to be pretty decent. And again, I think complete is you know, looking pretty good numerically. But once you run the stat, which means you take into account that, that variability, we, we didn't see any significant difference uh, between the different treatment. And it's, it's the same with, uh, with, the, with the yield. So, you know, I look, at, I look at this, and I was like, oh, great. I did it twice, and I didn't, I didn't see any, any difference both years. What is this, you know, an, 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 a major problem? Somebody who, who's not a plant pathologist trying their, his hand on, on something that he, he shouldn't do? Thankfully, I'm not alone in doing this. We uh, actually group up with real plant pathologists across <laughs> the Midwest, about 30 different land, uh, 30 different locations, uh, about what 10, maybe 12 uh, land grant universities. You know, Iowa State, uh, all the way to Michigan, Illinois, all the way down actually to, to Texas, did this together, and and it's a little bit. It's different format. This is how they decided to present their, their data, but I can, I can walk you through this. This is basically the yield difference between uh, Afecta Complete versus Apron Max. And Apron Max is, of course, the fungicidal uh, alum, uh, a component that is in Afecta Complete anyway. So you want to see whether uh, allocations shows uh, what's the difference in yield between these two uh, treatment <coughs> and listed for all of the locations for both years. So what you're seeing here is in some locations it's showing positive uh, difference and in some location it's showing negative difference. And it's showed that taken together there's no significant difference between the two treatments. They ran that, this kind of uh, data for all comparisons including for example Afecta Complete against Untreated Check. And the results the same. <laughs> you see some positive and some negative across the space, you know, across all these different states. So to me, it was like, whew, I didn't mess up too bad. <laughs> that, that was the correct data, that, that we really didn't see the, the, the difference in terms of yield, although we did see the difference numerically, uh, especially for Effecta Complete in, in terms of suppressing the, uh, uh, the nematode uh, uh, population. So that's the take-home message. Uh, some products show a numerically better suppression. We couldn't see any stat uh, difference. Uh, no difference in terms of final yield between all the test products and untreated checks. And these relationships hold true for two years. One good year for ASEAN, one bad year, or normal year. And for uh, multiple locations in the Midwest.